you know, she, my wife told me she was pregnant in uh, late, late June. Um, and, you know, we wanted to make sure everything was, was safe and everything was healthy. And, you know, she, she thought that this is a part of our journey and for our kid to see, uh, you know, the way we uh, revealed her gender. Um, it's a girl, obviously. Um, and we just thought it would be cool, you know, to do it at the stadium. I appreciate like the Bills marketing and, and a community relations group for uh, letting, us, letting us use that, that part for us to do our reveal. It's pretty cool. Yeah, the pictures looked awesome. Uh, I do have one football question. Uh, Leslie Frazier said the other day that you understand your role. So my question is, is how, how do you juggle understanding that there's Micah and there's Jordan, but still maintaining the edge that, you know, you want to do everything you can to get on the field? Oh, I mean, you, you got the two best safeties in the league right there. And I, I practice with them every day. I meet with them every day. I hang with them off the field all the time. And, um, you know, just for me to, to be behind them and learn from them every day. And, you know, I keep them accountable. They keep me accountable. Um, it's, it's awesome, man. All I do is, you know, I, I approach every day like I'm a starter um, because I have the ability to do that. Um, I can play, you know, Buffalo nickel. Um, I can play, you know, special teams. I can play safety, free safety, strong safety. So, like, you know, just being – you you want to have somebody like me on, on the team because I feel like, you know, I can provide uh, a lot of versatility. And I actually know what the hell's going on. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, congratulations again. Yep, thank you. No problem. Hey, Dean, uh, Matt Perino here. I uh, want to echo John. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Looked like a, a great time at the stadium. And I was wondering, any significance to why you had Micah and Levi there to kind of celebrate with you? Oh, the, those, those two guys, I mean, they're, they play um, big roles. And, um, you know, my wife and uh, Micah's wife are really close. Um, Levi's my locker mate. So we just, you know, it would be nice if we had the whole defensive back group there or more players. But um, just, you know, social distancing rules and, and all that kind of stuff. We just wanted to, you know, make it quick uh, right after we got done with practice. And, you know, Micah and uh, Levi were there for us, you know, to, to help us out. Um, in terms of football, a uh, couple new pieces added this year. We talked about it, you know, a few months ago. Anything stand out early on? I mean, somebody that maybe has joined the crew. I mean, you guys are so familiar with the, with the, new, the faces that have been there. But any new addition that has been like, man, he, he looks great on this defense. Oh, uh, I mean, it's, it's, everyone's always flying around at this time. You know, training camp is just more of a, a feel. Um, but, you know, in the, you know Josh, Josh uh, Thomas, he's learning, you know, in our safety group. Um, you know, Cam Lewis is, is definitely coming along, and he's, he's done a great job this training camp, you know, coming off the practice squad last year into this year, understanding the defense and knowing his role and playing multiple position, positions also. Uh, you know, Dane Jackson has been looking good. Um, we, have, we just have a great, you know, veteran leadership uh, group, you know, that brings the young guys along. Um, you know, AJ, Epinesa, you know, learning all the defensive line positions, uh, which is awesome. And, um, you know, we just – I think our, all our young guys are, are really getting the, the grasp and, and learning, you know, how uh, the NFL uh, should go along. Thanks, Dean. Congrats again. Thank you. Yes, uh, good afternoon, Dean. George Radney, Challenger Community News. And, yes, once again, congratulations to you. Thank you. Your... Yes, indeed. And what is it uh, – how many years have you been in this defense? Uh, how long have you been in this – this type of defense. My whole career, I haven't been in any other defense. <laughs> That's what I thought. Yeah. What is it about it that makes it uh, that makes it so difficult for quarterbacks, opposing quarterbacks, to to read what the secondary is doing? Uh, we we just have a, a lot of leverage, and uh, you know we we get to play free, um, you know, and it's just we have so many variations of, you know, cover three, cover one, you know, cover two, just a whole, many, a whole bunch of things. And, um, you know, coach gives us, us safeties. We call our quarter, we're the quarterbacks of the defense. Mm -hmm. So uh, is the middle linebacker, which uh, Tremaine and AJ Klein. It's just, you know, it's, we, we're a zone, we're a zone quarters, you know, uh, man team, we do everything. And it's just like, you got to be able to do everything. And when you understand the scheme, you can play so much more, so much more faster and knowing what to do. And, and how to react, and just playing with vision off the quarterback as a safety. And, and when you're in man coverage, just, you know, doing your 111. Exactly, exactly. Now, 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 take that. And how does that work for someone like Dane, a rookie coming in, uh, coming in this year with no preseason games, no OTAs, and 
and you just kind of almost thrown into learning this defense like a, almost a cram a cram course type. So how how does that work? Oh uh, well, with Dane, I mean, you know, it, it starts with with our coaching staff and our, you know, going from Coach McDermott to to Frazier and you know to JB and and just getting him ready and knowing that uh you know what our philosophy is and what our foundation is as defensive backs in this group and in this organization specifically and you know we cover you know we play off we play off vision off the quarterback and most importantly our corners tackle too you know we come up and hit yeah that's key that seems like a key emphasis in this defense that the, the cornerbacks have to be tacklers they Oh yeah, nowadays in the league, you know, every team is trying to expose, you know, the uh, the rear edges, and that's the corners. And when you have corners that could could tackle and aren't aren't afraid of contact, then you, your defense pretty, is sitting pretty well. And last question for you: Do you think with with not having the uh, the normal sessions with coming in and not getting into pads until August seventeenth, do you think around the league, you think tackling might be you might see some rust in tackling when the season starts? For, for sure. I mean, every, everyone is still, you know, we've been in, in pads for, what, two weeks already. And um, it's at this point, you know, if, with a regular schedule, we would had, be heading into preseason game number four. And when you have that kind of uh, ability, it's, you, you just you knock the rust off. And speaking of me personally, I mean, even the first couple of weeks, I'm still a little bit rusty, you know, with, with angles and, and tackling. And the more we put ourselves in, uh, in the positions in practice, once September 13th comes, you know, we'll, we'll, we will have been there already and we'll know how to execute our fundamentals. Beautiful. Thank you very much for your time and good luck this upcoming season. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Dean. Dan Fates up here in Rochester. Uh, I just kind of want to go back to the gender reveal and just kind of talk about <laughs> it seems rare how close you guys are as a secondary. You know, I see on Instagram your wives all hang out together. You have the Halloween party with the teams. Like, is this – unique i know you've only been here in carolina but is this feel different like you talk around other guys around the league to have them be a part of such a big part of a huge moment in your life yeah i i, I truly think that when you know this is our job and this is how we look at it and you know we're this is a team sport and it's one of the most unique jobs that we have and we can't just be friends inside the facility like you got to be able to know one another outside and when you do that it translates to the field and, you know, with like me, Micah, Jordan, Levi, Tredavious, Josh Norman, like the guys that have been around each other and known of each other for three years going on, it's just, it's something really special. And, you know, that's why I think we've been one of the top secondaries, you know, the last couple of years, just, just know how to play together, know how to play with each other, uh, knowing just what we, what we like to eat, what, what, how someone who's the funniest, like, it's just all that little stuff just, tra just translates to the field. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. Congrats again. Thank you. Hey, Dean. John Warren with the AP. Congrats as well on uh, on, on 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 that, and uh, good for you and and your wife and all the best. Um, Thank you. I, I I hate to bring it up, but I'm doing a piece on Cole Beasley in in this receiving core, and for a 31 year old guy to see the shiftiness that he showed off the line yesterday, and I, I know you were kind of like on. The wrong end of it but what yeah. do you make of what cole can do Still i give him i honestly i think cole is unguardable <laughs> and i and i say that i mean you can you can be there and you can be in right position you can get beat off the line like for me yesterday i got beat off the line by cole perfect move took a guess was the wrong guess you know and that, that's that's why we practice and i just i think cole is a phenomenal you know uh slot receiver um and like I said, I think he's unguardable and uh, he's going to be great for our offense. And when you work, work in a Stefan Diggs, knowing what Cole and John and Brown were able to do last year, what do you see from this trio and the potential that they have? I just see a lot of versatility. I have, I see that everyone has their piece, you know, like Cole's the slot, you know, John is, he has, he has really good hands and he's a speed guy and he takes the top off. You got Stefan Diggs who does, everything really. I mean, he can run slants, run goals, you know, he's very, very, sh very shifty and also very crafty with his routes. And, um, you know, this has been a great challenge for our defense during training camp going up against him. Our, I think our offense has drastically improved and, um, you know, we're, I think we're a really good defense also. And it's just, we compete every day and make each other better. Thanks so much, Dean. Thank you. Hey Dean, what's going on, Sal Capaccio here? How you doing, Sal? 
Good. Great to see you, man. Congratulations. That's super awesome. Thank you. Appreciate that. Yeah, nothing like fatherhood. First of all, I want to say, uh, hope my alma mater of Cleveland Hill treated you well when you're out there working, working hard. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> um, listen, we had Leslie on the other day, and he said Josh is making it tougher on the defense because of his decision making this year throughout yeah. camp. Can, can you speak to that and Josh's growth? Because you've seen him since he came in from day one. Yeah, I mean, uh, jo Josh, I think this training camp is has has turned it up a notch, and he's he's graduated to that year three to where you want to see a, a quarterback, especially our starting, our starting quarterback, grow. And um, he's just – his decisiveness, he's just – he knows where he wants to go with the ball. He's not sitting there waiting and padding. He's, he has a whole bunch of threats now at, in the wide receiving corps. Also, uh, running backs who can catch the ball uh, from the backfield. And uh, just, just to watch Josh, I mean, it's amazing that how he makes our defense better, like Les said, it's just – you know, we got, we have to uh, be decisive with our uh, decision making on defense, just how fast he's getting rid of the ball. Um, and it's great to see him grow because he's just, he's just going to make our defense way better. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. And congrats again. Thank you. Hi, Dean. Matt Fairburn. Congratulations to you and your wife. Thank um, you. I appreciate that. Curious what this week, um, you know, you have some perspective on what this week is like, you know, leading up to cut down day for, for guys that are, are fighting for those final few spots. What can you say about what the emotions of this week are like and what uh, you try to impress on younger players going through it for the first time? Uh, it's, it's, you know, I always, I always said you, you, can, you only can control what you control. Um, you know, at the end of the day, this is a, a business and um, a certain amount of roster spots are available. and you know, if you have any opportunity, just like me, I was an undrafted uh, free agent coming out in 2015 and ended up making the 53-man roster my rookie year. And, you know, for the young guys, I just say just just one day at a time, you know, one play at a time when you're on the field, you know, try to minimize the mistakes. And especially the, the guys that are young and, and fighting for roster spots, you got to find a way to make a difference and, and, and draw the coaches' attention to why you belong here. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. What have you seen from Dawson Knox um, year two uh, for the tight end? D Dawson has grown, man. I, f I feel like every guy now we're talking about Dawson has, has taken that next step and just not knowing uh, their role, but, you know, just, just overall, overall growth, um, you know, off the field, on the field. And um, it's, it's amazing to just see guys, you know, compete and that competitive nature is coming out too with that growth. Uh, and Dawson, he's um, great hands, fast, um, physical, can block well. I mean, he has all the tools. And he, he only makes our, our safeties better, guarding him every day.